quick how to install Universal Bosch O2 sensors using their OE SmartLink technology, which is pretty awesome. Using a BMW 335i as an example, the first step will be removing your O2 sensor from your car. This will be different for everybody. Check the description for a link on how to remove and replace the O2 sensors for the front and rear, all four on the N54 335i, may apply to other models. Clean any oil or residue off the plugs to make them easier to work with. Use something that's electrical safe, something like MAF cleaner. While you're in there, go ahead and check the pins, make sure they're not bent or damaged. Lining up the old one on the top. It comes to about there, I would probably need to cut off this much, but what I'm going to do is just do extra. Cut off the old O2 sensor. I'm going to be using this. So I'm actually going to just slide this back on. Don't strip the wires until the end so they can slide through things easier. That's good to go. It's going to cut this a little higher. You can save this and add it back later and just put a a little bit of electrical tape to bind the two if you need. So don't throw anything out. Also, now's a good time to swap the O-ring on here if it's bad, or at least clean it. So, there's a lot of grit in here. What we're going to do is connect these two ends. This is going to be the outside. I'm going to slide one wire through each port. Like this. That's why I haven't stripped these yet, because it's easier to slide them through. If they're stripped, the little wires will fray and go everywhere. I'm going to take the other end connector and do the same thing. Keep in mind the way you're aligning it. This has clips on every side, so it can go any way. I'm going to do it this direction here with the two white ones on top. Like that. And the bottom gray one here to line that up. Like that, so they connect. All right, wish this out a little more space, but I'll just squeeze it down for now. Now you're going to put the connectors on. This small end is going to face the outside because it's going to seal in the little cups in the inside. Now the wires are ready to be stripped. If you're slipping like me, instead of pulling the wire out of the harness, just hold it with something else. All right, one down, one to go. Almost a half inch. If they're frayed, just twist them up a little bit. I'm going to take this. We're going to loosen the ends. You don't have to remove them, but just loosen them. You can remove them and slide it on if you want, but you can see there's just a metal connector in there. Loosen these. Slide them in. Tighten. Tug it, make sure it's not coming out, it's good. Push that one in solidly. Tighten it, tug it, it's good. That's how it look. You're gonna do that for all four. The white ones are non-polar, so they don't really matter which side you connect to which. The regular ones, these are narrow band downstream, were 170. Granted, they have a lifetime warranty, but the Bosch ones from AutoZone, same exact ones, were 90 something. Got these for 25 bucks off eBay. It's always questionable, <laughs> but I think they'll be okay. If it were if it were the wide band 
pre-cat, I would definitely go with FCP Euro, definitely, or at least Amazon Verified from Bosch as a reseller. And you just pull it and make sure these seat. Maybe it helps to just push in here so you put less tension on the wire itself. Going to see how far these go. Oh, they go quite far. I'm pushing these down so I don't have to use the wire for tension. Just trying to make sure that they seat in there correctly before I shut it and that's it. Locks in on each side. Really nice. You could also cut the sheathing down the side and just rewrap it around, which I will probably also do. <laughs> Tape this and then I will fold it back as best as possible, but I'd rather have the room to work and just tape it after. Use high temp electrical tape. Cool. That one's good to go. It's a little longer than the other one was, but that's okay. Practice makes perfect, right? I'll make the second one better. <laughs> it's not too serious. You can always just zip tie it. These Bosch kits are pretty awesome. I'll admit I haven't seen them. In my past, I used to just splice them together with butt connectors or whatever, and it was more difficult. So this is definitely better and weather sealed. Thanks for watching. Subscribe for more. Hope that helped you, and I'll see you in the next video. Take care.